Today we're doing a head-to-head -head comparison of two amazingly popular canines that excel both in the home and in their working roles, the Australian Shepherd and the Golden Retriever. Now, both of these breeds were bred as working dogs, albeit for very different functions, but they both found modern success with their quick intelligence and sweet personalities, making them ideally suited to service and competitive or companion roles. So let's dig deeper into these fantastic breeds and see if one might be better suited for you and your home. Welcome back to the Fenrir Australian Shepherd Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviourist and I'm the founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could ever want to know about the incredible Australian Shepherd, then how you can become a high-level canine leader that raises perfect Australian Shepherd companions. So if you love them as much as we do here at Fenrir, start your journey by hitting that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell and you'll never miss another Aussie Shepherd video. So then let's dive into today's video and we'll compare the agile Aussie Shepherd to the gentle Golden Retriever. So let's start by digging into each breed's history just a bit so we can understand what they were bred to excel at and how those same skills translate to their modern day roles. Now, the Aussie was the pride of Basque shepherds who used them to, well, herd flocks of sheep. Eventually, the breed found its way to the shores of California in the US in the very late 1800s. They were quickly picked up by local ranchers who adored the Aussie for its quick movement, incredible mind, and adaptability to herd everything from geese to cattle. And it wasn't until very recently in 1993 that the American Kennel Club recognised them despite being a fixture and icon in cowboy country for nearly 200 years by then. The Aussie is still closely associated with cowboy culture and is incredibly popular as a working dog on, ranch uh, on ranches and rodeos across the US. Now, the Golden was developed more recently, if you consider the mid-1800s recent, and have changed only slightly since the breed's founder passed. Now, Goldens were developed in Scotland between 1840 and 1890 by the first Lord Tweedmouth, Dudley Madgerie Banks, who wanted to create the perfect gun dog. His goal was a retriever that was well suited to traverse his estate's rugged landscape and be comfortable in the often rainy weather of Scotland. He kept meticulous records of the crosses and breeds used during the 50 years he's he spent developing the Golden, and the breed has hardly changed since his passing. Though the Golden Retriever was developed more recently, they gained American Kennel Club recognition all the way back in 1925 and have since been one of the most popular dogs in service roles. Today you'll still see them retrieving game birds for the hunter, but you're more likely to see them assisting those with disabilities, using their keen nose uh, for drug detection or on search and rescue missions. They truly are an incredibly versatile breed. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts that I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behaviour cases in the world, and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels, and maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. So then let's have a little look at their appearance. So while both breeds have a thick double coat and long feathering along their bodies, their coats are very distinct and different in colour. The Aussie comes in a variety of colours that can include red and blue merle, black and white and tricolour. As their name suggests, the golden comes in varying shades of gold from light to a nearly liver colour. Their size is also very different. Aussies range from 40 to 65 pounds, where Goldens will grow 55 to 75 pounds and are a couple of inches taller. And moving on to temperaments, both the Aussie and the Golden are very similar, and why they both excel in many of the same modern roles. The Aussie is known for its utter devotion, quick intelligence and high energy that allows them uh, to have skills far beyond simply farm work and also make them incredible family companions. Now, Goldens are similarly known for their friendly nature, high intelligence and loyalty to their family. Both breeds do best in active homes where they can be with or near their family as they thrive on human companionship. 
Now, the social needs for the breeds, though, are a bit different. At the same time, both do best when they have a job to do, and it plays into their natural need to burn off their energy. If you've ever thrown a stick or a ball for either dog, you know that they will keep bringing it to you until your arm falls off. The Aussie is incredibly tenacious and is laser focused on the job that you give them, or they invent for themselves, while the Golden is slightly more relaxed about it. Aussies do do well with children, but they will herd them if you're not careful, so you'll need to be incredibly vigilant to really correct and redirect this behaviour before it becomes something that's frankly not just out of control, but potentially very dangerous. Now, the Golden really does shine when it comes to children. Once they've grown up, Goldens are excellent and very gentle with children of all ages. However, in that puppy and adolescent stage, they can just be so incredibly hyperactive and full of joy. And they are quite big dogs. Again, you have to be careful around small children because accidents can and do happen. Now, you can see that the Aussie and the Golden are very different in their historical roles, but you'll likely find both a great choice to add to an active home. The Golden is the clear choice if you intend to use their retrieval skills in the field or desire a slightly calmer family companion. The Aussie is perfect for active homes who want a running partner or have some livestock of some variety that need herding. Now, you really can't go wrong with either of these fabulous breeds, but you must evaluate how much exercise you'll be able to give either of them and how they'll fit into your home as it changes over the next 10 plus years of their lifespan to ensure that not only they're a good fit for you, but also that you're a good fit for them. So I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and remember to subscribe and turn on that notification bell as we've got two new videos coming to this channel every single week. So I can't wait to speak to you on the next episode of the Fenrir Australian Shepherd Show.